right, we made it. Cab got us here in about 25 minutes. We're with Mr. Slavic and Mr. Andre. Um, some of the uh, some of the other keepers here have gone out to the properties where some have been released and do see them around, but there's no tracking or anything like that. You know, most of them do turn and become aggressive and solitary, but they all do have different temperaments. Um, some have been able to be approached and still have some sort of contact with, whereas others completely will, you know let you know keep away things like that. Um, our head keeper up here actually said one day that one turn on him, um, you know, they, when they're going through the soft release, they'll take him out for walks at night and things like that. And they're having a sit down, the keeper was enjoying the view, and all of a sudden they just turned around and jumped him. Mm -hmm. Let him know that. Time to get a. Time to go. Yep, exactly. <laughs> it. And they're responsible for most injuries to keepers up here at the park. Oh, really? It's not the devils or balls or anything like that. The birds are up there. But in terms of you know proper injury, it's these guys that let us know. Because we are their mother, they'll chase us out the enclosure, they'll bite us, scratch us, basically say they're ready to go. Cool. Oh, he's coming out of the cat. Oh. Kind of going in the bush now. Oh, there's another one out of the bush there too. He's over there somewhere. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's one. <laughs> Alright, Andre dropped his sunglasses in and the Tasmanian Devils took them and we don't know what they did with them. Alright guys, what'd you do with those glasses? Got them? Oh, they're over there. He's got them. He's got the glasses. <laughs> they're fighting over them. <laughs> they're still fighting over the glasses. Alright, there's Andre's glasses. He's trying to put them on. <laughs> it's not having any success. Now they're fighting over them. Well, they thought there was something to eat, I guess. They're just having fun. It's something new in their pen. He's not letting go, though. How are they, Andre? They okay? A few teeth marks? <laughs> that is not a pleasant sound they make. Oh, 
He's just not hungry. He's eating. He eats a lot. He, he eats a lot. <laughs> oh, hello. The whole family. Sorry, I don't have food. <laughs> He's curious. Let's see if we have any food. There's always the hat is coming from out of nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, 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 have I think they just want the food. They just they might accidentally bite you. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. No, I don't want that. <laughs> Oops. Ich mag sie schon, ich die Kommunikation mit Box filmen. Die können schon boxen. Ja? No, we don't have any food. He's not going to be happy. Mr. Slavic, Mr. Andre, smile for the camera. No bites yet, Mr. Slavic? Uh, I can feel the teeth. Okay. No bites. Excellent. Bite. So far, they're pretty content.
<laughs> Come on, we'd love to see you running. You need some exercise? Your friend just ran away. He's going? <laughs> I know you're going to run for us. We love when you run. Come on. There we go. A little running would never hurt, right? Hopping. Come on. That's not exactly a hop. How about you? Come on. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got a little spurt. Olha o pocatu aqui, bo. Now he wants back. I uh, was in that before and started to get a little bit restless and started nibbling on my fingers, so I'll let him do what he wants. Yeah, for those of you who've just come, have all of you heard a bit about these guys or? Yeah. Okay, I did my repeat myself then. <laughs> Come on, mate. 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 Come See, this is what they do once they hit that two year mark. They'd be uh -huh. definitely telling us to go. This shows that this guy is very strong and he's going to have no problem being released back into the wild. In fact, that he's already starting to let me know he's had enough of me in here, he wants me to go. He's a really, really good sign. But while he's just chewing on my shoelaces, I'm happy with that. It's not biting my ankles or my shins or anything. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is it a dummy or what? Yeah, just a bit of a soft toy, the brother. Yeah, just when uh, they sleep at night, they've got something to rug up to and keep warm and that sort of thing. <laughs> so he's protecting his area over here. Yeah, that's what it appears to be. Getting a little bit annoyed <laughs> at me. <laughs> Even though he still follows me around like a mother. But, uh, <laughs> still, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and they can get very jealous when there's two wombats around as well. At this young age, um, one of our carers, when she's sitting in here feeding one of the younger ones that are over there, this guy gets very jealous and starts biting her and headbutting her. And so mean. That's why you often don't see uh, twins in the wild. It's a very, very rare thing. <laughs> so it looks cute, but when it's angry, 
Oh yeah, they can be definitely nasty. So you gotta take the good with the bad. It's nice when they uh, rug up in your arms and a bit cuddly, but it's also good to see them doing this. Mm -hmm. Now he's coming back for you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Video. Yeah. Good. Now start chewing on me again. How much does he weigh at the moment? Oh, he's only about top of my head, probably about six kilos at the moment. Not too heavy at all. The Lucy, who's been hiding in her burrow, she's a bit heavier, uh, probably about thirteen to fifteen kilos. <laughs> And what's his name, sorry? Max. 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 Mad Max. Okay, say bye to Auntie Gina and Asha and the girls. Which one that we saw at the museum? We saw the movie. Alright, we had a great time seeing everything. Now it's time to go back to Hobart. Alright, back to Hobart. So guys, would you be interested in going to the Botanical Garden since we have a lot of time? I can do everything today. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Uh, the Elizabeth Dawn Princess and those ones, they just go like Sydney, Hobart, Melbourne, New Zealand, New Zealand, Melbourne, Sydney. They just do that all the time. Mm. That's uh, Mount Wellington. Nice. How tall is that? 1700 and, oh no no, 1270 something meters. Nice. I think our guys are always good there today. That's where JC's going? Yeah, Days like today are nice days, it's unbelievable up there. See, you know, see forever. Probably a beautiful view. Yeah, yeah. Cadbury chocolate in Hobart. Yeah, there's one in Melbourne too. All right, we'll have to make sure we go to that one. Those big sheds over here is where they build the catamarans, build the boats. Uh huh. There's a uh, one now now that was used by the United States Navy. HSV something high speed vessel. They build them in there. See the big catamarans. Yeah. She recommended Sub Antarctic House, so we're gonna go there. It'll feel like Chicago. Great. I'll be right at home. Okay, the temperature just dropped about 30 degrees in here. But if they didn't do that, these plants would not be able to grow because it needs to be very cold. You guys can't feel it, but uh, this is blowing a lot of very cold air into this room. So these plants can survive. Otherwise, if the climate's not right, these plants in here won't be able to survive.
Alright, Mr. Slavik, lead us to the Japanese garden. Well, I was missing it there, so... <laughs> Can't read a map. This is a big tree. Not this guy. <laughs> wow. So many places with these trees, like I have no idea what that to call. But it's good. This one looks kind of old. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 